Hi no coders, Zaz here again. I'm back with another tutorial on how to design and build a no code customized functional pricing page in Webflow. This time uh, we are going to be using Dropbox as inspiration. So this is what Dropbox's personal um, pricing plans look like. And it's basically just you know, this comparison chart uh, with a sticky pricing header. And then you have a footer, which we don't really care about. But for our purposes, I went ahead and actually designed all of this in Webflow. And we are ready to go, really. The only thing left is for us to build out our plan exactly like this in Stripe and then grab the embed code from our service bot pricing page builder. So I know that was a lot, but grab your drinks and let's get started. And as always, all the links to the tools that I'm using today will be listed in the description below. So let's go. So we're going to want to start by going to our Stripe account. So we're going to go to our dashboard. Okay. And then we're going to go to our products. Now let's go back to Dropbox to check out their pricing. Okay. So they have three tiers. They have a basic plus and family. The basic is free. The plus is at $11.99 a month and the family is at $19.99 a month. But they also have a, oh, that's the year. Mm, that's the monthly plan. And they also have a yearly plan that has $9.99 for the, a month for the plus plan and $16.99 for the family plan. So let's get that all set up in Stripe. I'm gonna come back here and like we did last time, we're gonna create a new product. I'm gonna call this basic, right? Additional options, add metadata, you want the service name, and we're gonna call this Dropbox. And you also want a tier uh, tag, and we said that is called basic. So basic is actually free, so zero, zero a month, and no additional options there. We're gonna add another pricing for our yearly plan, and that's actually still gonna be zero dollars, but our interval, our billing period is gonna be yearly. Okay, go ahead and save that and go back. We're gonna add another product. Now this one we said is called Plus. Let me start on the monthly, okay. So we're gonna call that Plus. We're gonna come down here, add our metadata tags. So service, keep it consistent with the service and the tier name I'm just going off of what Dropbox has. So we're going to call that plus again. Come down here. Okay, now we set that for their monthly rate, they're doing $11.99. So on their yearly plan, um, they would be paying at $9.99 a month. That would come out to be $119.88. Oh, no. Dot 88. There we go. And the billing interval is going to be yearly. Awesome. Save that product. And then we're going to have one more product to add. Go back, add product. And we said this is going to be called family. Our service name is going to be Dropbox again. Our tier name is family. Pricing on a monthly basis, 
1999 and yearly it was 1699. 1999 monthly. And our yearly actually comes out to be 20388. Uh, I keep doing that. Dot 88. Set the billing period to yearly and save product. Go back. Awesome. So now we have our three tiers with the same service ID. So now we're going to get to go into service bot. Log in. And we want to create a new pricing page. Already we can see that our Dropbox product is showing up in our services. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to go to our pricing settings. Now, let's go back here real quick. If you notice when we go from billing monthly to billing yearly, it still gives you the pricing in terms of how much you owe per month rather than um, how much you're going to owe in that entire year. So for that, we want to check show monthly rate on annual plans. Awesome. Uh, our default interval is going to be the monthly rate. Although, what do they do? Oh, no. Our default is actually going to be the yearly rate so that we're showing the lower amount first. We're going to go to checkout settings. Everything looks good there. I actually want to use Stripe styling again. Oh, and actually here. So since our basic plan is free, we want to see if this works properly for the plans that, that your users are going to have to pay for. So we're, we want to preview this at the plus. There we go. So now you can see that it provides the billing information section for your users to input their credit card information. Um, everything else looks good. And we are ready to embed. So we're going to save this. Go to HTML5, copy this code, and bring it back to Webflow. So I already have our HTML box in here. So all I really have to do is go in here, take that, paste it, save and close, and publish. Let's reload our page. Perfect. It's that easy, you guys. So now you have a pricing page similar to Dropbox's, um, and that only took me a few minutes to implement. So we can see that we have our functional pricing page. Our free plan doesn't really require um, any payments, all your users have to do is enter their email. Um, and then with Plus and Family, you have a whole checkout form that your users can use to pay. And your default view, as we set it, is yearly instead of monthly. So anytime they want to switch to the monthly view, they can use the toggles up here. And then you have your comparison table and you're done. You have your functional pricing page and it's looking pretty good too, if I may say so myself. I will be publishing this to the Webflow Showcase page. So I'll link that in the description below as well so that you can go in and clone it and work off of it for yourself for your next project. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you have any recommendations for the next video, also let me know. I want these videos to be valuable to you guys and that would be great help. 
Thank you and happy no coding everyone. Until next time, bye. And this is vitamin C water, just so you all know. <laughs>